Welcome back to Behind the Lines, I'm Graham Knight. The college football landscape shifted dramatically this summer with the announcement that Texas and Oklahoma were jumping from the Big 12 to the SEC in 2025. Since then, there have been dominoes falling left and right in response to that move. The Big 12 then announced that it was adding four schools, three from Navy's home conference, the American Athletic Conference, Houston, Central Florida, and Cincinnati, plus BYU. Then last week, the AAC announced the addition of six new teams, all from Conference USA, which means that AAC will go from 11 football schools to 14 teams after the departure of UC, Houston, and UCF. These schools make great sense for us from many different perspectives. You know, a geographical sense, clearly, by virtue of their location in major cities that add to our extensive media footprint, will have a significant presence in four of the top 10, seven of the top 25, and 12 of the top 51 media markets. So what does this mean for the service academies, particularly Navy? We went right to the source, Navy Athletic Director Chet Gladchuk. Remember, the midshipmen have the most number of players from Texas, a heavy military state. You know, that's one of the reasons why we joined the American Athletic Conference in the early going, was to have a foothold in Texas and to expand now to have four teams from Dallas to San Antonio is huge for our exposure, not only the team in recruiting, but for our alumni. If you take a look at the Florida, now we're in the Mid-Atlantic, more so with Charlotte, we pick up Alabama. So, I mean, it's really an exciting time for us to spread out. As a reminder, Navy is only in the AAC for football. In all other sports, Navy is part of the Patriot League, as is Army. The exact date of the new look AAC is still a bit unclear. Reports say it could happen as soon as 2023. But we do know that it will have a significant impact on a group of five collegiate athletics in the years to come. When Behind the Lines continues, Diane Roberts will dig deeper into the college football conference realignment with a reporter who has put his finger on the pulse of the story, Chris Fanini of The Athletic. Stay tuned. Behind the Lines continues right after this.